Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a first look at Note Shelf 3. Yes, you heard me, Note Shelf 3. Your girl was minding her business and said, let me just take a look at Note Shelf. And once I opened Note Shelf 2, I realized, wait a second, something has changed. And I'm going to show you guys what Note Shelf 2 was like. If you haven't had it before, this is what it looked like. And this popped up on my screen, you guys. I am super excited to get into Note Shelf 3. Now it says this is an all new Note Shelf 3 and I'm wondering like all the things it has in store. So before we even get into this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I make new videos. Let's get started. So immediately when I click, I get into the app store, which shows me Note Shelf 3. So just so you guys remember, this is what Note Shelf 2 was looking like. I'm just going to close this and you can see what it looks like. The old borders, everything, eh, not so great, right? Now let's go into the app store and see Note Shelf 3. So it is a whole new app. You have to go back into the app store to download Note Shelf 3. So you're going to go ahead and um, write in or type in Note Shelf 3 and you're going to see the brand new app. So once you're there, go ahead and click get and it's going to install it for you. All right, you guys, this is it. I am super excited. I get super excited for these types of things. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. Look at it, I don't know. I haven't even opened it yet and I'm just so excited. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click get started and let's see what it looks like now. Whoa, okay, it's super neutral. Do not mind the other apps in the background, please don't. So this is the new icon and when you click on it, you have a more neutral pattern you know, going on. Um, okay, so we have premium which is 50% off right now. So definitely check it out. It is really super cheap It's like five dollars and you know what? I really love this because it isn't a subscription You can just pay it once and you're done. So this is the type of thing that I like. I'm already. Yes, I'm already like for this um, definitely check it out because um you know, a lot of these apps now, they're just doing subscription, monthly payment, and you don't even see what you're getting. Like, what am I getting? Anyway, so long story short, I got the premium and we're going to take a look at every single thing as quickly as possible in this video. Okay, first of all, I had to get into the templates. Okay, boo-boo, let's get into these templates. I'm going to go ahead and see what the, oh, hold up. I can actually pick a start date to these planners. Okay, so this is the colorful planner and it's allowing me to pick my start date and my end date. I've never seen this before. Like I can customize my own planner. What? Okay, yeah, okay. This is really awesome. So right now it's creating my planner. Let's take a look. So let's zoom into this year at a glance page. Um, I don't think that you can click on everything, but let's try. No, the dailies you cannot click on, but you can click on the month and it brings you to the monthly view. So, and then that also brings you to the weekly view. So you do have those links at the top, which is really nice. And it seems like you have monthly, weekly, and daily layout. So that's really nice. You even have note section. So what I really like is you can change the orientation of your planner right here. So you can just click if you want portrait or landscape and then just pick your start date and your end date just like we did before. So this is really nice. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so now let's get into these different pens. So I'm very used to using GoodNotes and Notability, and I really like that when Notability has their um, pens, you can move them onto the side. You cannot do that with GoodNotes. So I really like that feature in NoteShelf. I'm glad that they have this feature. And you can choose your pen colors, your pen size, using this little toolbar right on your left side, right on your left side. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna make it a darker color so that you can see how I'm writing and this is really gorgeous I noticed right away that I do not have the um, Like the weight, you know how hard you push. What's that pressure pressure? I can't see the pressure. So I'm gonna be looking on how to change that in a second um, I 
thought maybe it's because of the pen that I was using, but there's actually a setting to turn this on and off. So if you don't want this, you can just turn it off. But I like feeling that pressure as if I'm really writing on paper with a pencil or a pen and or a brush. So I'm going to turn that on with the little three dots at the very top right and then go to stylus at the bottom. When you click on stylus, then you're gonna see pressure sensitivity. That's what you wanna turn on if you want that pressure sensitivity. And what that does is when you add pressure, the line becomes thicker. This is really nice if you're doing brush strokes or just natural writing. And what I found really interesting is that all the pens, pencils, highlighters are very smooth. Like, I've never felt anything like it. You just have to try it for yourself to see what I'm talking about. It really feels like I'm writing on paper. It's so comfortable to write with. So the next tool I'm going to be checking out is the eraser tool. So when you click on it, you can just erase. But if you click on it again, you get into the settings. So you can see you can make it an auto size larger, smaller size, auto select previous tool, erase, erase highlighter only, pencil only. So you do have a lot of options or you can just clear the whole page. Hey, that's an option. Um, the next tool is the shape tool. So I'm just making my shapes and it looks like I'm making them automatically. Super cool. It's a great tool to have. If you do this, the pen on its own, it doesn't work. I think you have to turn a setting on to make it yes there you go and then it will turn into the shape but if you're on the shape tool it does it automatically for you all right so now let's go into the highlighting tool you do have two types of highlighters with note shelf three and you also get of course different colors you can pick your own colors and also you can pick your own size that is all up to you but i do like that they have two different types of highlighters so once you click on it you do get to see the different options of highlighting Okay, so when you are writing a lot of text or taking notes, it is really nice to use that zoom in tool and they're calling it zoom box. So this is really, really nice. This is one of the tools that I really like because there are different settings for you to indent where you would like to start your sentence and also a dotted line is already there for your line spacing. So that dotted line will not show on your actual text or on your actual notebook or whatever you're writing in but you can also change it depending on what you know your margins are going to be your line spacing is going to be in your notebook and it will really help you to write a lot neater and nicer next let's get into the thumbnail pages and this is really nice because you can bookmark and if your pdf file already has an outline it will show up in the outline section so this is really nice to be able to get into whatever page you want to get into really fast by clicking on your bookmarks okay so I want to show you guys how I'm going to be importing my own document. So you know I create my own planners, my own faith planners, my own faith journals, and you can easily import your own stuff from your files folder. So go ahead, go into your files folder by clicking on import and click on a PDF document that you already have and it will automatically upload into NoShelf 3. And there you have it. I was able to upload my holiday planner right into NoShelf 3. So while we are in my new planner, why don't we go ahead and get into the text? You can just click on the capital and lowercase a button and you'll see the different things that you can change right away as you're doing your text. If you notice at the bottom, there's different headings and different paragraph styles that you can create on your own. So you can see it says H1, H2 at the bottom. Feel free to change and add your own paragraph styles as you'd like. Quickly moving on to the next tool is the lasso tool. You can select in two different styles, either the square or you can select it around yourself. And as you can see, every single PDF annotating thing now has AI. Actually, not just that, anything has AI. But this is super cool because you can create a paragraph based on whatever you selected with your lasso tool and it will allow you to create a sentence, a paragraph, a summary of what you have written already. And what's really unique about it is that it can be handwritten text or typed text. So I haven't seen that in any other PDF annotating app. So definitely get into that and start experimenting. Okay, so the next feature I'm looking at right now is focus mode. You see this little circle right here? When you click on it, it will make everything around your page disappear so that there's no distractions as you're taking notes. 
if we go over to the settings and once again go all the way down we see customized toolbar this is an essential thing and i love that we can customize the toolbar to make it fit our needs there's so many different options you have pen highlighter eraser shapes text box lasso and so much more i love the freedom to customize the toolbar just as you like you don't have to keep it to a bunch of things that you're not even going to use one of the top and most favorite features i love is the favorites you can favorite any one of the pens customize them just click on it two times to fix the pen as you want the size the color the type of pen the type of highlighter and you can change it and you can add more so if you want 10 different types of pens you can do that and you'll easily be able to reach them by just clicking on it you don't have to reset this and all that you just click on it and you're ready to go so it makes note taking super fast and very simple so because this is one of my favorite features i'm customizing my toolbar to make sure that i include the favorites as my first thing in the toolbar okay so now i'm just going to look at pixabay and there's a lot of fic pictures pictures there's a lot of pictures <laughs> that you can um search and add to your planner your journal your notes whatever you're doing and i really like this because if there's anything specific you want to just um look at or relate to you can easily look it up right here and also unsplash is another one that you can use as well Okay, so what I really liked in my other old annotating apps is that I can go ahead and edit the picture by cropping it. So what I really love is that I can crop it freehand and using the rectangular tool that is available. So this is really nice if you don't want all this extra stuff, you just want one part of the image, you can go ahead and do that right in Noteshelf 3. To do this, all you have to do is tap on the image and click on edit. And you're brought into this where you can erase even the edges that you want to erase. Use a rectangular tool or you can do the freehand tool. So you have different options that are all included in No Shelf with a one-time purchase. I am just saying, so far so good No Shelf 3. Your girl is impressed. <laughs> Another thing that I really love about Note Shelf is that you can change the color of anything that you've written that's already written. And of course, you can use your dropper tool and pick a different color from any of the images or whatever you have on your planner or notebook already. Okay, next up, emojis. I've never seen this in any other annotating app, but you can add whatever emoji you want. So if you're journaling and you want to add an emoji, you can like that made me drop my apple pencil are you freaking kidding me what in the world is this and i can choose whatever emoji i want i i i'm speechless i'm really speechless what in the world i have so many options in note shelf 3 why haven't i been using this Whew, so your girl had to take a quick breather we had to step away from all those tools and go back to the main page <laughs> Um, let's take a look. So you can have access to any content that is in your entire Note Shelf app, including pictures, recordings, photos, and at the bottom is tags. I am, I'm speechless. Like, this has so much stuff in it. I don't even have enough time to go through everything in one video. So any bookmark that you have, you'll be able to see them in this part. Like, what? I have no words so when i go back to the thumbnails and i'm going to go ahead and just do some random bookmarking and show you guys that you can just bookmark and not only that when you make the bookmark you can title it so that it's easier to find your stuff this is a key essential thing when you're doing note taking for school business whatever it is so you can easily find your stuff Oh, and if I didn't mention this before, you can just grab your toolbar and drop it anywhere you'd like. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Listen guys, I am absolutely speechless. There's so much stuff in here, I can't get through it all. I had to come back to the main screen. Look at all these templates. You have education templates, you have business templates, productivity templates. You have so much things to choose from and you didn't pay a lot of money. You didn't pay a lot and you get all this stuff. So if you want to make your own planner and add these templates in, you can do that with just one thing, one PDF annotating app. This is so 
powerful oh my gosh i didn't even get into the stickers i didn't even get into that yet you can download these stickers for free and use them in your planner your notebook your journal your notes whatever it is that you're doing right away Listen, you guys, I can go on and on and on about Note Shelf 3, but you guys have to experience it for yourselves. Get it now. You can even do the free version, which allows you to do three notebooks and try it out for yourself. See how easy it is to use. See the different things that you can use and see if you want to get premium or not. It is up to you and you definitely can try it out without buying anything. So if you feel like it's worth it to you, you can buy the premium version and it's just a one-time purchase you can import items and one of my favorite things is that you can create favorite pens favorite text favorite paragraph styles and have them there so it's easier to use and of course one of my favorite things that i can do is import my own documents my own planners and something new that i've never done before but i will definitely take advantage of is the tags what that changes the game <laughs> anyway you guys i am super excited to get even more into this note shelf video if you want to see more note shelf videos please comment down below and i will definitely make tutorials um, make more videos informational videos about it and to show you every single little detail about note shelf 3 um thank you so so much for watching you guys i'm super excited about this as you can clearly see and i just really want to thank you for everybody who has subscribed to my channel watched my videos and my tutorials and i just thank you all because all the success is because of you guys thank you so so much for watching please remember to like this video subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified when i make new videos i'll see you in the next one bye